What is the creepiest thing that has ever actually happened to you? Kinda creepy at the time, but scary afterwards. Long time ago driving from Boral to Barima in New South Wales, a state in Australia, my wife and I were flagged down by a guy asking to borrow a car jack, because his van, which he said was his sister's, and yes it was white, had a flat and his jack didn't work. Guy was creepy and we just said nah mate and took off. A while later we saw the photo of the serial killer Ivan Milat, who had been caught by then. Pretty sure it was him, and the van fitted. I never tell this story, because it just doesn't make any sense. I don't have an explanation for it, and lacking narrative meaning I have no idea how to tell it to my friend's family. As a result of never telling the story, the details have faded. It was however the creepiest thing that ever happened to me. When I was a younger woman, I moved, all alone, to Atlanta for an internship. I was dirt poor so I took public transit everywhere I went. I encountered plenty of creepers on the train while I was there, but I was always able to get them to back off or to sneakily escape into the crowd. On my last day, I took train to the airport. A very large man approached me in a familiar style. He was both much taller and broader than me. Dressed casually, maybe even cheaply. I followed my usual protocols, no smiling when you say no to something, holding on tight to all possessions, being ready to move or even bolt if necessary. I don't think he ever asked for me to do anything. His interest wasn't explicitly sexual or flirtatious. He just talked to me intermittently with the cool confidence of someone who thinks you're not going anywhere. I wasn't too worried, but I didn't have the usual luxury of sneaking away and catching the next train I had to be to the airport. I got off the train. He got off the train. There was no subterfuge about this. No, I'm going to the airport too. At this point he was deliberately, explicitly walking with me. Still not flirting. Still not asking for anything. Not my number. Not anything. He got on the escalator with me. He closed his hand over mine on my rolling suitcase handle. I kept my grip tight on the handle thinking what the fuck. I should have yanked away from him, but I was so surprised and scared by the weird, inexplicable move in the now familiar game of cat and mouse that I didn't react at all. I just held on tight hoping, praying that I was strong enough to keep going my own way. There were enough people around that I could make a scene if I wanted to. Looking back, not reacting to this was really stupid. But I was young and completely out of sorts. It would have been easy, under the public circumstances to say hey, get your fucking hands off my suitcase. But I wasn't raised to be reactive combative like that. That wasn't a part of my instinct repertoire. He started looking around like he was trying to formulate a plan. At this point I was afraid. I don't exactly remember what happened next. There wasn't a struggle. It's like he just changed his mind and walked away. I made my flight and left Atlanta. But what the fuck was on his mind through the whole encounter? Why follow someone so far for no reason? Why make that specific grab? What the fuck was that? It wasn't the only time that I had strangers act like they knew me, but this guy didn't seem deranged or even slightly off. It was just so strange. I went on a guided cemetery tour at night. About six or seven of us were standing around a tomb listening to the story of how the inhabitant had killed himself with a gun when all of a sudden there was a big flash and the whole sky lit up green with smaller flashes. We found out later that we had witnessed a meteor breaking up. So the tour guide takes a moment, recovers from the surprise, and continues his story about how some decades after the poor chap had killed himself someone broke into his tomb and stole his skull. We then moved on and walked further into the cemetery when we were startled by a loud bang. We shrugged it off as a car backfiring, laughed nervously at how on edge we were and continued the tour. Shortly after we hear a couple more bangs in quick succession, and one of the tour party commented that they were pretty sure they were gunshots. There was another bang closer. Definitely a gunshot. Then we saw a light in between some of the headstones, and I kid you not, we saw the figure of a man carrying a shotgun, 
slowly coming from the direction of the tomb we had just been at. We froze. I looked over to the tour guide, thinking it was some prank he plays on all his customers, but he was completely white and was backing away. It was a man with a shotgun, and he was walking towards us. He lifted a flashlight and pointed it directly at us. Several of us ducked behind the headstones as he yelled, get out of here. What the hell are you doing in this place? Turns out the city council pays some guy to shoot possums in the cemetery, and they forgot to warn the tour company. On a spring break trip, a friend and I got dropped off at the front gate to our condo. A security guard saw us and kept insisting on walking us up to the room. We kept saying no, and he seemed kinda weird. He followed us into the elevator, and I stood as close as I could to the buttons. He kept making weird comments and telling us how hot we were. We kept bringing up how all of our boyfriends and our guy friends were in the room waiting on us, and how there were like 10 people staying there. When the elevator hit our floor, we took off running as fast as we could. Two weeks later after we came home, there was a news story about the same security guard. He followed a girl onto the elevator and made her perform sexual favors before he'd let her go. Edit, found the article about it. He didn't rape her. It was almost six years ago. He locked three girls in the elevator with him and tried to touch their boobs and threatened to evict them. Two were minors. He was arrested for false imprisonment. I didn't use the word rape because it never said anything about rape in the article. One time I was pumping gas and was approached by a couple who said they needed a ride. Their car had broken down and they needed to go about a mile up the road to get to their friend's work. Their destination is on my way so I agree to take them. I pull out my phone and say half-jokingly okay well I'm just going to send a picture of you guys to my friend to make sure you don't rob me or something haha. They both simultaneously turn and walk away. They don't say a word. I yell out hey, you're walking the wrong way to get to destination. The man flips me the bird and they keep walking, neither to where they said their car was nor where they wanted to go. I had just gotten home from the gym and was exhausted. I badly needed to shower sleep so I began to head upstairs. As soon as my bedroom door came into view, what I can only describe as a dark and humanoid-looking silhouette creeped out of view from the side of my door frame. I knew 100% that I had seen something and wasn't too keen on investigating it. I grabbed a knife from my kitchen, convinced myself that I was a grown-ass man, counted down from five, kicked my halfway closed bedroom door all the way open and started yelling like a maniac, I was home alone. I didn't find anything or anyone. I checked each closet thoroughly, under the bed, etc. Etc. The usual fuck that places. I closed my door out of habit and began to get undressed when the only light in my room burned out. It was absolutely pitch black. Considering how positive I was that I had seen something earlier, I promptly began to freak the fuck out. I had this sense of dread and absolute impending doom. I felt like there was a hand about two inches away from the back of my neck, it was such a vivid and terrifying feeling. I bolted in the direction of my door after about five to ten seconds of being too afraid to act and got the fuck out of my house until the rest of my family came home. Pretty anticlimactic, I know. But to this day I've never felt that convinced of another, unwelcome, presence in my house.